doors again. I can't get it to go in automatic mode on that end. It's interesting. Well, not that time either. And as you can see, I have taken down the R142A and put it back in its box. Played with it long enough, enjoyed it. And I wanted to bring back the R40 slant nose, which is from the MTH Premier line. And very, very detailed cars. It, they're beautiful, very detailed. People in them, as you can see, and, and the modem in there, who's the only black guy on the train. <laughs> That's not very prototypical, MTH. <laughs> not for New York City. In any event, yeah, I love this set. I really do. And I am going to start purchasing the MTH Real Tracks. And I'm going to put it on my floor here between my dining area and my living room. If that's possible, I have all my model railroading stuff here in the living room. Everything, all of, all of that stuff there is all out of that room on the right, that door, which is where I have my tables for my HO scale layout but this is all of my HO model railroading buildings tracks cars locomotives everything as soon as I'm able to get all of that out of my living room I'll be able to extend real tracks into my living room in the meanwhile let's get back to the R40 Is this the only place this train goes to? Is Union Turnpike? Oh, Next stop, 179th Street, Jamaica. That's better. My mother lives on Union Turnpike. Gorgeous area. If I ever move back to New York, that's where I want to live. In Flushing, Queens. Whoops. Oh, now it's an automatic. Okay. So you can see my hand there. I won't be touching anything and it'll take off by itself. Just turn the speed up a little bit. All right, that's five minutes of this stuff. That's enough. To be continued. <laughs> 